Hello, and welcome to this special episode of Anime on Draft. I am your host, Rolando, and along with my co-host, Alec. Yo. Today we will be talking about Sakurada Reset Episode 8. Exclusively. Exclusive peak. <laughs> um, so the reason why we're doing this is because we will not have an episode this coming week, um, depending on when this... <laughs> when we release this episode or this special episode. Right. And so we want to uh, at least cover one of the shows that, w- that we talk about um, a lot in, in the podcast. So uh, <clears throat> Alec, what did you think about Sakurada reset episode eight? I thought that we were right. <laughs> As we mentioned, um, would, would you I like to elaborate on what we were right about? We were right that Soma's going to be, you know, she's got the same power as the witch, the whole like see the future or something similar. They still haven't yeah. quite elaborated. They've said she's uh, at the end. She said they found someone similar, but I don't think she said that they found someone exactly the same. So who knows? Maybe her power is a little differently. But as of now, it seems like Soma is the witch's replacement. And okay. so that was the big like, you know, twist at the end of this episode, though. By the end of the episode, I don't know if you can call it much of a twist, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, especially because, like, it, it kind of seemed like there's something different about Soma and how she kind of seems to be pushing Kane in, like, certain directions even before her death. And then, like, she, like, appears again in these photos, like... With the MacGuffin, of all and, things. Yeah, the MacGuffin. It's clear that she has something to do with I don't know not necessarily with the bureau but with Kay's development and you know whatever she's trying to accomplish through him mhm and she um the even the photo is like she took the photo of herself or she had the photo of herself taken with, you know, when she had the MacGuffin by the guy at the location where Kay and her first met. So obviously that's some sort of, you know, there's some sort of, she's trying to get him to realize who's in the photo and be curious, I guess. I don't know. So, but overall I liked, and I don't want to, I thought it was really good. I don't want to derail us. Um, but, uh, I forgot to mention what our drink of choice tonight was. Oh, right. Right. Let's uh, let's talk about that for just a second. Good old fashioned, old fashioned. <laughs> I should <laughs> choose my words a little. Better. A good old fashioned, old fashioned. <laughs> yeah, good old fashioned, old fashioned. <clears throat> so uh, what, what, uh, what do you have in yours? My uh, particular old fashioned today, I uh, I fluctuate between bourbon and rye old fashions, generally preferring rye. Uh, whiskey <clears throat> today I went with bourbon so what I have in mind is just two dashes Angostura bitters with one sugar cube three dashes of Reagan's orange bitters muddle that up drop it in an ice cube pour over about an ounce and a half of four roses I think it's single barrel or single batch whichever one I f- is it is i don't remember but one of those and it's i think the single barrel is the more expensive one i think it's the single barrel one okay because i'm it was like four dollars more i'm like i'll just get that (laughs) so um probably single barrel okay well uh i've got a very similar one to yours because i do not have any rye whiskey left um (laughs) all of that i did you have i had templeton Ooh, I like Templeton. Um, and so uh, I had to use Four Roses single batch. Oh, the, um, <laughs> the one that's four dollars cheaper. Uh-huh. Yeah, that one. Yours I got must that one taste as a gift. like shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got that one as a gift. So nice. That's um, a pretty good gift, I'd say. Yeah, it's <clears throat> it. So it uses the <clears throat> Four Roses single batch, and then with some sugar. I muddled with a dash of water and three um, dashes of Peychaud's bitter mm. bitters, and nice. um, that's your bitters of choice usually, right? I uh, it's the only bitters I have on me at the moment. I actually do prefer Angostura, but the Peychaud's is actually really good. Um, 
with bourbon. It is, yeah. It is very good. So I like it too. I just uh I don't think I have any. Or if I do, I lost it. It's somewhere. <laughs> so. Yeah. So unfortunately I don't have an orange peel, but I mean I did remember to take the time to muddle um very well. So it's not like I didn't make it the old fashioned way, it's just without one of the ingredients. <clears throat> don't worry, mine doesn't have an orange peel either. <laughs> just the bitters. <laughs> yeah, but you still uh, you get the orange. So I, I decided to to just deal with it. It's still good. Yeah. Still good. Not as good or just different. Um It's different. Yeah. You don't get the citrus, <laughs> but there's a lot of uh, uh with the Peychauds, it's like there's a lot of fruity notes to it anyways. So mm-hmm. it it doesn't really take away too much. At all. Right. That makes sense. I actually, um, I forgot to mention, I have a little dash of water with mine. It helps muddle the sugar cube. Um, I actually, if I can make it the way I want it, I actually prefer a splash of club soda instead of water with the sugar cube to help, you know, kind of muddle the sugar cube. It, um, I like the flavor it has. Some people may be like, oh, club soda. But I've seen it a lot of, a lot of places do it with a little club soda instead oh, yeah. of a little water, but so um, it comes out a little different, and I think it's uh, it's a nice change, especially with rye. Maybe with bourbon, it might be a little too sweet using club soda. But with rye, it comes out really good. So yeah, I but can, unfortunately, I, I don't have any club soda. So water, it was. Neither do I. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I okay. need to get like little tiny club soda bottles. That's what I'm. Gonna yeah, do. that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> They're multi-purpose. Right. You can also use it exactly. to clean stains too on your clothing. Yeah, there's that. I could do that. And then I don't have to buy expensive OxyClean. Exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Let's get back uh, to, <laughs> on track here. Back, back to Sakurata Reset. <clears throat> um, so the <clears throat> witch has this, has this plan to escape the facility. Her confinement. Her, from her confinement at this facility <clears throat> that the Bureau keeps her in. And basically what happens is she's going to die. Um, but she wants it. to see her boyfriend, the old man, who um, I guess I didn't really realize his name was Sasano until this episode <laughs> because I just always wrote his name as old man. Um, <laughs> but his name was uh, his name was said spoken multiple times this episode. So it was. Yes. And he uh, <laughs> was, you know, running around with the youngins, too. Yeah. Um, so for this uh, for this escape because the witch knows that she can't won't be able to walk in a week she plays oka and and Kay and and sasano into kind of you know going into her ploy to help her escape earlier but in doing so it would make oka an enemy of the bureau because she would use her abilities to help break out the witch but as we all know K is not going to have any of that. You want to talk about that, Alec? Um, yeah. <clears throat> well, as you know, the witch mentions anyone who goes up against the bureau reaches tragedy. Uh, I think she mentioned that in, was that in the, uh, in the picture? Cause he gets the pictures from Sasano. One of them is a cherry blossom. One is the witch on the beach. And then one is Soma at the spot where he first met her holding the MacGuffin. He gave it, gave him that picture Mm -hmm. and he goes into the beach photo. And that's where she says that anyone who goes up against the bureau is reaches tragedy. Right. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, she, and she says that the old lady betrayed, betrayed her because the old witch is betraying the young witch because, uh, well, she's going against their the plan that she set out because Kay is meeting with her there. So she's changing the future. <clears throat> and so she's helping him come up with, you know, giving him information so he can, like, save Oka, basically, it seems like. Um, cause she, and then as she puts it, she's like, well, she's the that witch is going to be meeting with my boyfriend, not me. It doesn't really matter for me or whatever. So, um K, you know, takes it upon himself to come up with this plan when when Oka goes in there and they take pictures of uh, of the the place with doors open and uh, use those to to break the witch out using the fact that uh, me, what's her name? The girl who can't be affected by reset. Um, Yoka. Who? Yoka. 
That's her name? The yeah. The one with the hat this episode? Mm-hmm. Oh, I totally forgot. Well, her, yeah. Girl who made Kay's head, head explode. That's kind of how I remember her. <laughs> um, <laughs> she uses the full body ability and, you know, doesn't reset with the pictures. And then they use the pictures to break the, the witch out. Um, and, it, you know, I thought it was pretty cool how they did it. The plan was kind of elaborate. And then they reset. And then she has the vision of herself seeing them, like, you know, phase through the door Give because the she... Thing, yeah. Yeah, give, and then she calls him in and he gives her the pictures like secretly away from the camera and all that. And then she breaks out and at the very end of the episode, she goes to her boyfriend's Sasano's and then they don't show it. But you hear the faint, you know, knocking on the glass, yeah. I guess, where she's like knocking on his door because I was like, are they going to cut it right now? And then you don't know if she knocks, but you hear the faint knocking. Yeah. And uh, so that was, you know, I well, thought she's a weak old woman. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's true. It's like, dee, dee, dee. <laughs> <laughs> he probably couldn't but, even hear it because he's old. Yeah, he, he's like, she's going to have to like just kick the door. <laughs> he, you took an extra two days off my walking ability, you old <laughs> he's man. Just like, he's like asleep in there. He just like <laughs> is, falls asleep and she's like, help me. <laughs> and she like it's passes cold. out and like dies from pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I didn't see this in my future. <laughs> <laughs> How could I have been so blind? <laughs> But um, I, I thought it was pretty cool. And um, the way they kind of did it was it felt really like I don't, not thrilling, but thrilling. You know what I mean? It was kind of like, oh, is it you know, obviously it's going to work. But you kind of had that sense of urgency that they that they had and, and all that. So um, uh, I, I enjoyed that part of the episode, even though um, the end with Oka was a little strange when she was yeah. like talking to Kay. It was a little bit odd. Um, Speaking with, of with Oka, mm-hmm. um, we see at the beginning of the episode that she does fall into Kay's trap. She and does. She gets wrecked. She R-E-K-T. like gets completely wrecked. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> there, like I was actually befuddled in the beginning, beginning of the episode because I'm just like, there's no way it, it, it happens this like easily and perfectly. Right. Mm hmm. And it does. And I'm just like, Mm. well, like what the, like literally everything Kay has done this whole series, like nothing, like he hasn't failed to predict what someone's going to do and like all this other stuff. So I'm just like, what the, how is he doing this? Like, it doesn't even make any sense. Like what, like, even though he has this ability to like remember like stuff very well, like that that's not an ability that lets you predict how people will act in the future. (laughs) You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit, um, it's a little crazy like thinking, Oh yeah, this kid's always right. Um, but I think that's kind of setting it up for him to have a failure, you know? And, and I think it'll be like, you know, a big one. Cause, and then I think it also shows cause Oka is supposed to be new to this whole quote unquote villain thing, you know? And she's obviously, younger than he is so maybe it's showing like her immaturity and like emotional like her emotions getting in the way or whatever and then setting up for her to join you know become part of the team or something like that i don't know further down the line is kind of what i was thinking but because she sees him as as a rival yeah for some reason sees her as just a small obstacle (laughs) like i don't like i don't get what she's trying to compete with him at just like i don't either like she she got him or he got her away from her abusive dad and she thanks him for that and now she's like i'm gonna ruin your life i don't quite understand where that comes from either but i mean but like does does she really want to ruin his life i kind of feel like it's all just a game to her it probably is she probably just wants like him to you know notice me senpai like she just wants him to notice her and like it's probably going to turn out she has like feelings for him or something. And then she's like, I just wanted you to notice me. And I don't know, something, something. I wanted to small, be, I'm just a small stone. Love me. Yeah. I just wanted to be villain enough for, for you. Cause you're such a villain or some shit. Like I'm that. a stone with thoughts. That's another conversation that they had <laughs> because I, they didn't in the previous episode, they talked to the witch and Harky and Kay talk to the witch, but then they reset. So do they, and then yes. they didn't show them talking to, 
to the witch again. So I'm under the assumption that they never spoke to her again. I, I don't remember if she asked <clears throat> Kay those questions. She didn't. She asked Haruki those questions. Yeah, I remember her asking Haruki those questions. But he does say, like, oh, I answered, I answered incorrectly last time. Like, it's this. And then I'm just like, but did she ask you that last time? Like, I don't remember that happening. I remember her asking that to Haruki. I don't think she asked him because I think he's he said, like, I misspoke in my answer or something like that. So I think maybe he was saying he like he was wrong, saying that he couldn't love a rock or whatever. Something like then she changed the terms. That's kind of how I took it. Yeah, because I don't remember her having that conversation with him. She did talk to Haruki about that. And um, the conversations obviously went differently. But right. (laughs) um, And then at the end, we get. The very end, uh, Haruki was, or he was asking if Haruki's gonna reset. And she said, if you want me to reset, I will, but I'd prefer like remembering you losing my power and you promising to get it back or whatever. So, right. um, that was kind of a, a moment, you know, mo- a moment for the two. She wants to remember the, the dashing hero. K. Okay. I'm sure there's more to it than that. Right. But, okay. So. There's probably only one more thing to talk about this episode, and it's the or, the origin of the witch's nickname. And um, oh, yeah. so her nickname comes from back when her and Sasano were still young, and at she trees. asks Sasano to tell her a story, and he tells her about this witch that flies on a broom to see her boyfriend, and then there's like this thing near the end of the episode where he's like telling the story and like the witch taps on the boyfriend's window, which like, you know, as you referred to earlier, she taps on the window of Sasano at his, at his backyard door. Um, and I think like he changes the ending of that story because yeah. Cause they cut to his face. Is it- yeah, yeah. Cause you know how like, <clears throat> She's like, oh, what happens? He's like, because he says she taps on his window, but he opens it too, too quickly in his, in his blissfulness or his glee. And so, cause like she's riding on a broom. So what I assumed what was going to happen next was, you know, like he opens it too quickly and she falls off and dies or some, <laughs> some shit like that. But like, he just says like, oh, and they end up happily ever after. Yeah. But, and then the, I, it was kind of odd too, because they were telling that whole story and they weren't necessarily like looking at the characters. They were looking at like other things at the, you know, they were like cutting <clears throat> between the two telling the story and then the tree. And, and then all of a sudden for that part, they're like, boom, his face or whatever, you know, or did they stop part, part way through the story? They didn't tell the whole story in one go. Yeah. They told part of the story in the beginning of the, ep- or like not the beginning of the episode, but like near the beginning and then the rest right. at the end. And then they finish it. Okay. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> they like showed his face for that where the rest of it, you know, it was like the two of them or, or something anyways. Yeah. It, w- it, it was, I guess, kind of foreboding. Uh, well, I mean, we know she's going to die. Him. Yeah. But <laughs> you know, like maybe he opens the door too fast and it knocks her out cold and she gets pneumonia and she dies. <laughs> yeah. Luckily in Japan, they have sliding doors in the old, those old school houses. Yeah. She's standing so close to it that, it the the glass sticks to her face and she just boom honestly she could probably like just f- fall through that door and it would just open <laughs> yeah probably probably actually um but then it kind of reminds you because she talks about um the how soma is the the new witch or whatever and her and Sasano had that promise to see each other again and then we have from last episode k and soma having that promise that they never showed, but that possible promise to, you know, see each other again that they had after the sunset by the water. Right. So could be something like they're the next, you know, boyfriend the next... and witch. Well, <clears throat> maybe. Well, I mean, yeah. we do see in the preview um, that K seems pretty... to be avoiding Haruki and then Haruki is afraid of have, of being hated by K, that kind right, of thing. Right, right. Okay, so... I did watch the preview. Never mind, I'm wrong. 
I watched this today and I forgot that I watched that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's, you know, I think there's going to next episode is going to be interesting. This one was a little slower than last episode. I yeah. think more went on last episode than this episode. Um, this and was also, more like yeah. conclusion. -y. The, the beginning of the episode kind of like caught me off guard as well, because like, I just didn't expect everything to, you know, happen so cleanly, you know? Uh, sorry, it cut out. It didn't well, expect everything to what? It didn't, I didn't expect uh, everything to happen so cleanly in the beginning of the episode. So that oh, caught me off with, guard. With him the, just walking out of the picture and then yeah, the girl and then was the door. Having and then, predicted everything. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, well, he said so in my, in my earpiece here that you're lying. So, ha ha. <laughs> and it's, it's just, like, it's just over. <clears throat> It's like, like all yeah, right. that's the other thing I could understand if like he just had it going, you know, these, you know, the, any what she's saying to you right now is fake or a lie or whatever. But, but it was it's like recorded. Yeah, it was pre-recorded, And she was like, oh, when did we meet earlier today? <laughs> it's like, but we're friends. I remember that. But that's a fake memory. It's like, what the please? God, <laughs> so stupid. That's what she's going to do. That's dumb. That's yeah. dumb. I would have thought she's going to like implant a memory of him dying or something. Yeah. You know, and be like, or, oh, my no, death no. is fake or something. You know, it's like, I'm actually not dead. And she's we like, thought, oh, that's we a thought fake memory. so many things. And it just happened to be like, haha, just kidding. He told you it was fake. Oh, yeah. And then the memory she implanted was so boring. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're a villain, quote unquote. And you just make her think you're her friend. Like, that's it. Really? Come on. <laughs> yeah. That's boring. That's that's boring, but well, uh, you know. looking looking on to the future of this show, what do you think is going to happen, especially, you know, with Soma possibly appearing again and then the conflict between K and um, Oka? And Haruki. <clears throat> Oka Eri. Um, Oka Eri. Um, it cut out a little uh, right then. Oh. So I'm going to just talk about what I thought I heard you say. Uh, you can cut this part out. Um, <laughs> well, with uh, with Soma coming back, I obviously, with everything that's going on, I don't think that she's dead. You know, it, I feel like it had to have been some sort of ploy by the Bureau or something like that. Because mm -hmm. if they're looking for the, it, it, the... The Bureau seems pretty careful, besides the fact that they let, you know, two kids let the witch out of the the bag or whatever. Right. But, um, they're really, they're going to spend all this time looking for the replacement and then just be like, oops, she fell off a bridge. <laughs> like that seems a little far fetched. Well, I mean, not oops, she fell off a bridge, but oops, she fell off a bridge two years ago. Right. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then we like, so it, it just seems a little bit. So obviously I don't think she's dead. I think she's like, you know, somewhere held by the bureau or, you know, yeah. doing some sort of something else. Um, but I think she's going to come back and meet with Kay and that's going to have some sort of profound impact on him, you know, because obviously by the end of the episode, it seemed like he kind of had a thing for her, even though he said he didn't. Um, and then that's I feel like that might be part of the source of the conflict with uh, Haruki because she I don't know, is, you know, she seems into him, too. And I don't know, maybe it'll become some weird love triangle. I hope not, because that's so boring. But yeah. Um, and then maybe she, like, is not convinced that it's the real Soma or something. And then he's, you know, not wanting to believe her. I don't know. Um, I don't Honestly, I don't really know. <laughs> I just think she's going to come back because some conflict is going to arise because she's coming back. I think that's where the conflict with uh, Haruki is coming from. And then as for Oka, yeah. she's going to come back with a slightly more elaborate plan and then probably get shut down. Either that or she's going to work with somebody else. And then that's... That's the reason why uh, Haruki is like thinking those things. Maybe she's going to implant in Haruki that K hates her. And then that's going to cause maybe, you know, maybe that's what her plan will be. Or I don't know. She also like kind of mentions that she has a stronger ability. And yeah, she did say that. And it even the witch hints that. Mm. Oh, that Oka area wants to steal her future her future sight power so it's like can she steal abilities or can she copy abilities or like i don't i don't know like maybe this is all related to that 
special stronger ability that she has that's gonna right. make her stronger than K. Which honestly, like, I don't, I still don't know what she's trying to compete at him with, but whatever. Neither do I. I also don't understand why, if she stole, quote unquote, stole the reset ability, why she never used it. <clears throat> that's yeah. what I don't understand. So, like, I'm wondering, know, I'm wondering she, if maybe maybe stealing an ability like involves like completely wiping someone's brain or you know like maybe. something like that like maybe it's mm -hmm. something drastic that she doesn't want to use it right um like willy-nilly because it's like if she used that on like let's say haruki that's essentially like killing her mm -hmm. whether it's not physically killing her or not like if she like completely wiped her mind like, yeah, then she's basically dead, but, like brain dead, or starting over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's, you have zero memories. You forgot how to breathe. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and then it, it kind of goes along too because um, anyone can use Sasano, Sasano's whatever Sasano. Yeah, his yeah. pictures. They don't need to have his power. You just have to tear it at the place. At the place. So, yeah. Um, it, it's another like. If, moment where it's like well she, she used those powers but not really anybody can use those because we see k use them later so right it'll be interesting to see what her her stronger power is and she wants more power so you know who knows maybe she attacks soma <gasps> <Ooh>. <laughs> and then soma really dies two years Ooh. later after she died but she <laughs> but instead of dying two years later she dies four years in the past <laughs> and then they re and then they reset five years in the future oh <laughs> oh man reboot Correct. they reboot instead of reset yeah, they, they re just reboot they re <laughs> all right reboot the show <laughs> this shit got out of hand this shit start over <laughs> sorry we didn't know what we were doing <laughs> the author's like i don't know where i'm going with this i'm just gonna reset the whole thing <laughs> Wait, that's the whole play they're gonna they're gonna <laughs> put the everything twist. to shit. So you're just like, what the fuck happened? And then at the end, it just says, reset. And then it starts with the first scene of the show, and then that's where it ends. <laughs> no, you know what it does? It, it goes back. It, it goes all the way back, and then it goes back to where Kay kept waking up and getting those voice messages in his head. <laughs> hey, and it just goes back to that. Dude, that would be hilarious. Actually, that would be quite a twist, but. I'm also curious that would though. Be, what's... That would be an it, it would be a twist. <laughs> yeah, that's. And then yeah. it would piss off basically everybody. Everybody watching it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, "Why did I waste <laughs> an entire season? An entire season this? of my life on this." I am curious to see what more comes of um, Ghost Girl, because obviously she like just can retain information. You know, obviously she can die and retain information or whatever. So I think maybe she'll come back. She was kind of oh, yeah. interesting as a I kind of forgot so. about her. Honestly. Yeah, but I feel like she could come back as like a some not important, but having a role again in the future with like the fact that she can die and still, you know, talk be, be right. a ghost basically. There's also still the MacGuffin which there's that. You know, we don't know anything about, but we do know that it drives our protagonist, which is the actual definition of a MacGuffin, but Yes. <laughs> it is. Uh, <laughs> it's like but so putting, does Soma. Yeah, that's like putting something into a story and liter naming it its actual like literary <laughs> literary term. device. Yeah, yeah. you what put in a literary this? device and name it, and it's just like, oh, here here comes in Mister Red Herring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean like Scooby Doo? Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but it, it's kind of funny because Soma drives, you know, Kay as well. So, and then she's holding the protagonist. So maybe there's two MacGuffins in the show. You know, oh. there's Soma and then the rock. But maybe the rock isn't oh, the real MacGuffin he, and Soma's actually the MacGuffin and has all the powers. Maybe that's why well, she has the future power. Speaking of this rock, not not the rock, but, you know, this MacGuffin thing. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> what the rock because like the MacGuffin is a stone. Would you love this stone if it could think? Oh, what if this stone mm. is Soma? Yeah, that's oh, she is the stone. She is the stone. <clears throat> mm. How'd she get transformed into a stone? I don't know. She used the marble girl's ability. 
Oh, that could be it, if it's reflective. We've never really seen it be reflective. I don't know. We're just so, I'm just talking out of my ass right now. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh like she she easily could be either like a second MacGuffin or the stone is supposed to like represent her and she's actually the MacGuffin. She's a, it's not actually a thing that gives people all the powers. It's actually just she has, you know, control she can control or take or whatever, you know, all the powers or whatever. Maybe she's God, dude. Maybe. Maybe. Of the town. God of the town. As maybe, soon as she leaves, she's useless. <laughs> maybe what actually happens is whenever you set foot in the Sakurada, you're actually like knocked out by an agent and then put into this pod where they put you to sleep and put your mind into this virtual virtual world. And there's actually just robotic aliens it's flying the Matrix. around. Yeah, it's it's the actually Matrix. just the Matrix. <laughs> and so the reason why you have these powers is because you know you're in this virtual world. Yeah. And you can't leave because you'll lose your powers because you'll wake up. Yeah, exactly. And find out that you're useless and you want your powers again. Yeah, and then you ca- you kill yourself. And that would actually follow because Kay goes into the town with an agent on the train. As soon as he stepped out, bam, karate chop to the neck. He's out. He's just a small 12-year-old kid and this big old guy with hand-locking powers just chops him in the neck, <laughs> judo chop style, and puts him out cold, puts him in the pod, dude. We it's figured the out the show. We it's don't need to Matrix. watch anymore. It's the Matrix. It's the Japanese Matrix. It's the Japanese anime. Matrix. An- the Animatrix. <laughs> the oh, wait, Animatrix. No, that's, that's an actual thing. Never mind. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Animatrix. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's like a series of uh, animated shorts based on the Matrix. Oh, interesting. Did not know that. Yeah, no, no, it's it's old. <clears throat> oh well, this is re- the Animatrix reset. The Anna reset. Anna re- Anna reset. Yeah, yeah. We could just call it the Animate Guffin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> so, but uh, I think next episode should be. It should be pretty cool. I think it'll be cool. I'm intrigued by the uh, preview. Sometimes their previews are like, okay. Um, but this one's kind of intriguing. You know, Definitely yeah. curious what the drama is going to be. Definitely for Besides, sure. They're going to find all the pods. All right. Well, uh, if that that's pretty much all I want to talk about, is there anything else you want to add? Um. No, not about Sakurada. I I know. Well, now because we're we talked about this next time, uh, maybe I'll talk about some of the other shows I'm watching. But because some of them are getting pretty good, I'm gonna tell you now. <laughs> right. Well, uh, that should be it for this special episode on Sakurada Reset, episode eight. Um, this is kind of like the first in a slew of new content that we're kind of looking to put out. We're mm-hmm. kind of using this week that. I'm going to be out of town for the weekend to experiment, see how doing smaller format stuff works, you know, just random other stuff. And um, this is kind of the first experiment at it. So in the future, you may even, you know, find stuff where we talk about other shows <laughs> that we don't cover in the podcast. Like, I don't know, let's say, what are some of the other shows you're watching right now, Alec? Uh, well, I'm watching, um, Sword Oratoria, Zero Kara, Hajimeru, blah, 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 uh, and Berserk. Those are to name a few. Right. So, like, we could probably do, you know, like, maybe little one-off shows, like, Mm -hmm. maybe, like, once or twice a week, depending on, like, whether we want to or not, you know, like, on shows like that, or you could follow our blogs as well, um... You we could have a check, couple things written check there, those out, so. yeah. Um, well, other than that, um, I think that's it for us tonight. Remember to check our WordPress, animeondraft.wordpress.com. You'll find everything on there, including our Twitter, our Instagram, all of it. our iTunes, everything. You'll find an archive of all of our episodes, blog posts, all that jazz. Mm-hmm. And um, this is us, Velando and Alec, signing off. Later, guys. Bye.